Good afternoon. This is Mariah. Good afternoon. This is Mariah Stanley, the National Program Manager with Council National. We're going to give it a second for attendees to join in, and we would just like to thank you all for joining us. Okay, my name is Mariah Stanley. I'm the National Program Manager for the Comptoir National Office. And today, our 2021 Careers in Transportation for Youth City Program interns will be presenting to you on their internship experience and what their host organizations are doing to move the industry forward. Before we begin, I would like to give a special thanks to our intern host, AECOM, HNTB, Kiwit, Sistra, and OCTA. I would like to also give a few housekeeping rules. If you are experiencing any technical difficulties, please send a message in the chat. To submit questions for the Q&A portion of the call, please use the Q&A box. All questions will be answered at the end of the presentation. This call is being recorded and will be made available for all attendees. Thank you for joining us. I will now turn the program over to the City Intern Committee Chair, Ms. Colleen Bembry, for a few remarks. Hello everyone, my name is Colleen Bembry and I work for Kiwit Mass Electric. I welcome you to our 2021 city intern presentation. I am very passionate about this program because Comto gave me the opportunity through an internship to start my career 15 years ago with Mass Electric. And I love what I do as I am now the quality manager for East Coast operations for Mass Electric Transportation. I I'm thankful that you guys took the time out to listen to our interns and I will now step aside and let the intern presentation begin. Good afternoon, Comto members, partners, and key stakeholders. My name is Kunle Kimasotu, and on behalf of all the interns, I would like to welcome you to the 2021 Comto City Intern and presentation. By the end of this presentation, we hope you have a better understanding of what we've done this summer as interns and our perception of where we think the uh, transportation industry is going. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Aaron Wajaja and I'm a student at the University of California, Santa Barbara, majoring in actuarial science. What I'll be talking about is the interesting projects that are in store for the future of OCTA. So OCTA just celebrated its 30th anniversary of continued excellence and service to the transportation industry. So, you know, if an agency has been around that long, it means that we are doing something right. And that is upholding our responsibility to hear the voices of Orange County. Specifically for me, I'm working as an accounting and financial reporting intern. So it is my responsibility to best utilize funding from taxpayers through strategic financial planning to produce the greatest benefits to the community and OCTA does just so. From diversity, equity, and inclusion to training and development, OCTA excels in all fields and is a large advocate of public transportation. Now, if we look at this video, um, this is perfect example of how OCTA is an advocate of public transportation. January 25th, Dwayne Peterman decided he'd had enough. The parking, the traffic, gas prices, car problems, each had taken its toll. Then one day, everything changed. Well, let's just say things have been a bit different. The little things, the big things, 
Wayne's become more centered now. His fear of heights, gone. Sunshine follows him everywhere he goes. People hug him more. He's popular at work. Now people follow him wherever he goes. Is it the 51 or the 47? The mall or the beach? Orange County Bus for his Orange County lifestyle. We've been expecting you. So this was a little fun campaign that OCTA did. Um, we did it with the marketing team. Um, being here in the West Coast, sunny uh, weather. So it's really nice trying to travel around uh, around Southern California. Um, that was a little, little clip right there to see um, that OCTA is really a big advocate for alternative uh, environmentally friendly uh, transportation methods. Now, OC, uh, now I'll be talking about the current projects at OCTA. OC Go gives OCTA 11.6 billion in funding for transportation improvements through 2041, uh, which is a half cent tax. The most exciting projects are the I-405 improvement project and OC Streetcar. The I-405 is the most heavily travel traveled freeway in the nation, so rush peak hours can be devastating. And I could personally attest to that. Uh, as much as I would like to be best of friends with others stuck in traffic, everyone has somewhere else better to be. So this improvement project is going to help solve the issue by improving entrances, exits, and bridges, and widening the I-405, as long as, along with uh, express lanes. Now, the OC Streetcar is an initiative to connect the community members with the heart of downtown Santa Ana by, la by laying 4.2 miles of track. It will be the community's first modern streetcar and provide unprecedented resources to revitalize and build a community through improved transportation. One day you can be cruising down the I-405, then hop on the OC streetcar to experience great food, cultural activities, and shopping. And you can definitely see me there supporting local businesses. Next slide. Now, Every department within an agency is important, but I can argue that mine is the most important because who doesn't love money, am I wrong? Within my department, there are many sections such as accounts receivable, accounts payable, payroll, general accounting, and et cetera. And we deal with all of the finan uh, uh, financials in an agency. During my time in the internship, I worked closely with general accounting to create a database to match revenue and expenses of multi-million grant projects and helped out with other sections to gain experience in that field. I was instilled with the ethics and morals of what a great accountant should be. It is more than balancing journal entries, but understanding the numbers and having strong internal controls. Just to give a bit more insight on some of the work we do, my manager was telling me that out of curiosity, he investigated a difference in $3,000. That was in the book for years. It turns out that money was for a family of a late OCTA employee. 3K may not seem significant for a large agency, but to a family going through rough times, it may be life-changing. So there's definitely an added layer as to what a great accountant is considered to be. I started interning here at OCTA at the end of the fiscal year, so I'm right at the heat of it all, but it makes for a really great learning opportunity to soak up as much experience and provide my support to multiple sections and along the process to ensure proper financial reporting. Next slide. And that wraps up my presentation. For more information, you can contact me with questions and please visit the OCTA website we have a really great marketing team and IT team that put together a beautiful website filled with daily updated content. So feel free to explore. Thank you very much for your time, Comto, for linking me with a wonderful host agency and my coworkers, especially my manager, Benjamin Torres, who was very, very informative, helpful, and a mentor figure I can look up to. 
Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Brown. I'm from Denver, Colorado and am a business entrepreneurship and marketing major at Hampton University. This summer, I've had the opportunity to intern for the infrastructure engineering group at Kiwit. Next slide. Kiwit is one of America's largest and most respected construction and engineering organizations in North America. Kiwit started as a local masonry contracting company in Omaha, Nebraska in 1884, and currently has 46 locations across three countries. At Kiwit, our capabilities are reinforced by one of the largest privately owned fleets of construction equipment in America which enables the company to rapidly mobilize the necessary resources for any project. Kiwit has a successful track record, including the construction and upgrading of interstates, highways and bridges, rail lines, urban mass transit systems, and more. Sorry. EV technology and communication systems evolve and become increasingly decentralized. Kiwit is maintaining the pace. Kiwit is positioned to drive this transportation evolution effort with collaborative teaming across our infrastructure and energy businesses. We even integrated EV technology into our company culture. In addition to providing EV charging stations for employees and visitors, Kiwit plans to integrate this technology into our construction sites as well to accommodate plug-in hybrid work trucks. Our ability to be innovative and collaborative is how Kiwit will continue to be successful in the future of transportation. Kiwit is one of the few that can deliver turn, turn um, key projects to our clients because we have the technical tools that help us um, and being intentional and strategic about inclusion enables us to bring the best outcome. The main, oh, next slide, sorry. The main project I have been working on during my time here is supporting the proposal efforts for the $2 billion BTA BART Phase 2 Tunnel and Track Work Project. Um, this is the largest single public um, infrastructure project ever constructed in Santa Clara County and includes a 50-foot tunnel, which will be the largest under, underground train tunnel in America when completed. Phase 2 of this project will be to extend BART service six miles from the Transit Center into downtown San Jose and ending in Santa Clara. This tunnel extension will provide a fast and convenient transit alternative for major commute corridors and increase the access to and from major employment centers throughout the Bay Area, entrance connectivity of regional transit services, promote economic development in Silicon Valley, and improve mobility for transportation disadvantaged populations. Next slide. So business and diversity inclusion um, is what my team and I imp implement. Um, my role has been to assist in creating and implementing plans to promote diversity on our projects, to help us understand and engage with the communities where we build. I have done endless research on stakeholders and board members for my supervisor, Kelly Kelly. Um, she then studies the information I provide and travels to meet community members and potential subcontractors in order for Kiwit to be re recognized as a top bidder and to build a foundation with them for us to um, better understand the scopes of business they're interested in working with. I have been managing project emails and using it to create an outreach database of small, minority-owned and women-owned business subcontractors who are interested in providing their services, such as design, civil, civil engineering, electrical, and many more, as well as doing general outreach events to discuss our present and future work opportunities for those businesses and creating a calendar of important events for my team to attend. I cannot speak highly enough of Kiwi and my team. Oh, next slide, please. <laughs> I cannot um, speak highly enough of Kiwit and my team, the Kiwit culture and the passionate concern they have for producing excellent project delivery goes beyond words. Kiwit is a, a leader in the industry and I have enjoyed my time learning, receiving hands-on experience in the field and the numerous networking opportunities I've received this summer. 
There's rarely a dull moment in the office and I would highly recommend working with them, whether being an intern, employee, client, or vendor. I also wanna give a big thank you to Conto for connecting me to QIT and giving me the opportunity to be a part of the internship program this year. If you have any other questions or concerns, please um, use the email provided at the below and thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Justin Lawyer. Um, I currently intern for Sustra. I'm a grad, I just graduated at Virginia Union University with a, with a bachelor's degree in, in cybersecurity. And I yes, currently work at um in intern at Sustra. Um, next slide, please. Sustra is an engineering consultant firm. The firm is literally all over the world, not only in this country, but all over outside of this country, such as France, China, India, Poland, Australia, and Canada. And they also have locations in the US where the headquarters are in New York. They also have a location in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and California. As you can see it on my slide, um, you can see the pictures that I have posted in the New York office. They honestly just moved into this um, New York office on Wall Street. You can see the conference room, the Eden kitchen area, the um, towards the bottom right. You can see the as you um, the entrance of the company, and lastly on the top right, you can see my cubicle. Um, next slide, please. Okay. Um, Sistra focuses basically mostly on infrastructure and planning, rail operations, electric, electrical systems and traction power, train control and system safety, signals and communications, construction management and architect architecture. The recent projects that they have been um, doing within these past year is based um, Sistra supports two large commuters railroads in the US and uh, over $1 billion um, system-wide implementation of PTC, which brought the railroads into compli compliance with federal regulations back in December, 2020. Another, um, sorry, another project that they have done, done was they was leading the team and in overseeing the install installations, testing and commissioning of the Culver Line CBTC system and solid state interlocking system. And last but not least, another project that they had um, doing, um, that they are doing, they managed the pre-construction and construction and closeout phase of the ADA upgrade at Bedford Park, which is not too far from where I live. Um, the team is responsible for construction management and contract administration services for this project. Next slide, please. Okay, I currently intern and for the IT apartment at um, Sistra. Basically what me and my manager do, we are the first line support for all the employees. We do ticketing systems and installing software. We troubleshoot so hardware and software for the employees. We build laptops and install installing images to companies' laptops. We reset employees' passwords. We update IT inventory and order reports. And we just try to be there for the employees if they go through any system delays with any projects they're working on. We just try to be there for them. Um, I would like to say I just started this internship maybe four weeks ago. And every day, ever since I started, I learned I learned something new every day. And I honestly want to give a special thank you to Comto for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank Sistra for also seeing something in me to give me this opportunity as well. I want to give a special thank you to my manager, Ken Kenneth Ware. He has been my mentor and guided me for these past four weeks to just be my best in the IT department every day. Um, if y'all have any questions or y'all like to know any more information about myself and Sistra, you can follow. Um, the link below. Thank you guys.
Stephen, you're on mute. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stephen Dimash. I'm an electrical engineer major studying at Temple University in my senior year. I'm currently interning at ACOM. Before I start going further, I would like to thank Compto and ACOM for giving me um, the chance to have an awesome internship experience. Throughout the, this interview, I'll be going over the different aspects of my project and how ACOM is moving forward in the transportation industry. Like I said before, I worked um, for ACOM, which stands for Architecture, Engineering, Construction, Operation, and Management. Our base value is Safeguard, Innovate, Collaborate, Deliver, System, and Drive. We focus on building quality work for our customers while making sure the safety of the companies and employees. Next slide, please. As you can see on my slide, we, we form a triangle where tribe is a center around equity, diversity, and in inclusion, where everyone gets an equal opportunity to grow and learn. Throughout the company, we have different programs that we do throughout the year for Black History Month, Women History Month, and Juneteenth. Next slide, please. Here, here at ACOM for Compton and like myself, we have a rotation program that we do where we work on every department throughout our time in, in the internship. I had a chance to work on various projects and learn different software such as, such as MicroStation, Revit, CAD, STAG, Bentley, Microsoft, and et cetera. Throughout my time working there, I chose a couple models to share with you guys, which you can see in my slide. Um, the first two on the top is a, is a, is a conversion of a 2D model that I, that I had into a 3D model of a rent project. Um, and the second one is a peer project that I also converted into to a 3D model. This model was uh, a get more complicated at times uh, as we introduce other dis disciplines such as mechanical, electrical, and, and into the project. It is fascinating to see when you come to move them into different views. As the project goes, I, as everything actually get in progress, we can see everything in 3D modeling as in real life and in front of your computer. Next slide, please. Next one is a project in Philly located on, on the Penn Court Yard around Drexel University. This facility will, will be mainly uh, um, for maintenance and cleaning for the trains, uh, for the safety, uh, for the safety for the for the safety of the customers. I work on this project through to various groups such as rail, civil, structure, architect, and the, the architectural uh, department, which was so fascinating to see the different aspect of the project and different responsibility that everybody has, and the trust in me and, and to be part of this work. I was also responsible for the validation work on the Northeast region, as you can see on the right. Uh, I, I was tasked to give you all the, the reports and confirm which property of uh, Amtrak, which uh, um, as you can see, there is a, a, a mechanical, um, there is water, there's pipe in the street and stuff like that. So it, I was actually responsible to review all these and make sure like uh, Amtrak have all the reports that they need through ACOM. I would like to say ACOM wants to integrate more intern into the job moving forward and invest into giving us a great experience and full-time opportunity as well. The company also would like to move towards more infrastructure work into the transportation industry, not only locally, but also internationally, said my manager, um, Gary Lawrence. Next slide, please. I would like to thank one more time uh, on Comto for giving me the opportunity to, to be part of this organization. It's a blessing. I would like also to thank ACOM to give me the opportunity to uh, have the experience that I need to move forward in my career, to understand what 
this industry have and the opportunity that is giving to everybody. Thank you so much for the time that I have with you guys and, 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 and I hope to keep going and, and be part of this great organization. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Basma Schuber. I am a, um, I'm a senior electrical engineer a student at Eastern Washington University. And uh, currently I'm interning with HNTB Consulting Corp Corporation. Next, next slide, please. Next one. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys with a video of, uh, of a one day of my life as an electrical engineer. Hello everyone, my name is Basma Schuber and today I'm going to take you guys with me on one of my days as an electrical engineering intern. I'm kinda an early bird, so I wake up between 5 and 5.30 in the morning. I do usual morning stuff, I take my dog out for a walk, I drink coffee, I get ready, then I head to work. I enjoy driving to work every day. My commute is usually 25 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let me talk about Comto. On early May 2021, my friend sent me an email recommending me to become a member of Comto. By that time, I didn't know anything about Comto, so I started looking and I found that Comto's mission is to ensure opportunities and maximum participation in the transportation industry for minority individuals, people with disabilities, and certified MWDBE business through leadership training, professional development, scholarship, and internship funding. I honestly was surprised at the amount of work and opportunities that Comto has provided students with, so I decided to join. I applied and within two weeks I got a response from Maria Stanley saying there is an intern position for me in HNTB Corporation in Bellevue, Washington. I started my internship late June with HNTB Corporation which is a design firm that was founded in 1914. The firm has many offices across the United States and has designed many sports facilities, airports, bridges, tunnels, roadways, and rail and transit systems across the United States and also around the world. Here is the office and here is my desk. As you can see, I designed it a little bit so it's not boring. I start my workday by checking my email, replying to other emails, and confirming with my manager on what tasks I should be working on. So far, I have learned a lot from this internship. I have worked in, on two major projects. The first one was Checkpoint 1, which is a project that HNTV is working on by now. The project is in SeaTac Airport. First, I went on a site visit with the lead electrical engineer. It was really interesting to go on a site and compare the actual site with the plans and the asphalt that we have. I have also went on another field uh, visit with an electrical lead engineer and we were looking for some electrical panels and we wanted to match their um, information with what we have on the plans. Here you can see me for the first time getting close to an electrical panel and I look pretty happy. At around noon, sometimes me and my uh, and couple of my co-workers, we go to grab some lunch. Sometimes when I finish what I'm working on, I ask one of the senior engineers if there's anything I should look at and work with and she always directs me to the NEC book. Also, sometimes she gives me some training work to do, like load calculation and panel schedule fill-out. As an electrical engineering intern in HNTB through Comto, I can say that HNTB and the electrical engineering division within uh, has moved the transportation industry forward because in transportation, 
we rely a lot on our cars, radio, headlights, and many more factors on our way every day. As having an electrical division within HNTB Corporation, HNTB is moving the industry forward by having a great team of engineers who perform electrical design, electrical construction, lightning, transportation, indoor and outdoor lightning, and aids to navigation. This was a brief vlog about my internship experience. I hope you all like it and all the thanks to Comto and HNTB for this great opportunity. Thank you so much for watching uh, the video. I hope you guys like it. And thank you. I just uh, want to thank Comto again for all the effort uh, that they're making. Hi, my name is Oyin Lola Kimosotu. I am the marketing and business development intern at HMTV Bellevue. I have been working remotely in Chicago while finishing up my MS in marketing with a focus in supply chain program at Loyola University Chicago. Next slide, please. Um, this is my second time working at Asian TV as an Asian TV intern through Comto. My first time was actually in the summer of 2019. The top left picture is me at the Comto conference and the top right picture of me is my first day at Asian TV in 2019. Um, and so much has changed. The bottom left picture is me in my home office this summer. And the bottom right picture is a picture of my team and I, the my marketing team and I, at our weekly check-in meetings. The workload has grown exponentially since the last time I was here, and so has the team. So I'm in awe of the work that the marketing team has been able to collaborate and, and the work that the marketing team has been able to accomplish, as well as collaborate effectively despite working remote. Next slide, please. In this slide, I just wanted to share a little bit about the importance of Asian TV's marketing team, as well as some of the project highlights from this summer for me. Without the marketing team, there would be no projects for Asian TV's technical support. The marketing team sets the tone for our customers that our technical teams can execute our 444 vision for projects. When I say 444, I'm talking about Asian TV's drive to bring quality work on time, on budget, and to the client satisfaction. The marketing team harvests a synergy of excellence and constant process improvement, which pushes h and to stay competitive uh, with our competitors. From the development of pursuit strategies to supporting technical staff and presentations and throughout the interview process and honestly everything in between, I would argue that the marketing team is the cornerstone to h and business plan. Um, aside from pursuit work, the marketing team works on highlighting and documenting the cool things that happen in our division. Uh, I wanted to showcase the, the intern announcement graphic that I was able to create for our LinkedIn, um, for our division. And that was fun because I got to do a few different mock-ups and show my manager and have her choose. And that was a cool experience. Um, Below is a snapshot of the format that we kind of use for our master resumes to really standardize our information. I've always appreciated the efforts that h and takes, the steps that they take to standardize operations, which really brings process improvement and a lot more organization for everyone, everyone now and for future people coming in. This summer, I had the opportunity to work with the business development side in conjunction with the Compton Washington State Hub Committee. I worked on researching other state chapters to get a better understanding of the work that they do with their partners and communities. And I was also able to do a survey to understand what our current members would like to see in the future from the, um, from the hub. So that is just something that we're working towards um, improving. Next slide, please. In this slide, I wanna talk about h and equi uh, equity efforts within the Bellevue office and from the national office. Internally, the Bellevue office has been growing its inclusion, diversity, and equity community. Um, currently, there's a cool initiative that our office 
called Educate Yourself, which gives a safe space for people to have important conversations about that, that marginalized, community, marginalized people in our community space. The Bellevue office has made huge efforts to be more involved with the Compto Washington State chapter as well to really connect with more stakeholders in our industry and community to make sure that we can be more impactful and um, have, have more impactful efforts of equity within our work. On the national side of things, there's been efforts from the infrastructure and mobility equity team. They've been providing leadership, addressing equity considerations in infrastructure planning, design and construction and in accordance with federal, state, and local priorities. Next slide, please. I wanna thank Mariah, Stanley, Colleen, Bembray, and everyone else who's diligently um, done the work to make sure that us as interns have the best experience ever. Um, I honestly don't know what I would do if, um, if Mariah didn't take a chance on me um, in 2019, and then if h and didn't take a chance on me, I, it was truly, it's truly been a life-changing experience. And I really hope that um, more companies are encouraged by our presentation. I know that there's not a lot of us right now, but I, I hope that more people are encouraged and have the opportunity to get interns. Thank you so much once again. Hello, as I mentioned before, my name is Kunle Kim Sotu. I'm currently a rising junior at the University of Oklahoma, and I'm studying business management with a global focus and a minor in Japanese. I currently work at the HNTV location in Bellevue. Next slide, please. So how is HNTV moving the industry forward? Well, there are two current pro big projects that we're on right now. Uh, Wash dot, uh, Northwest GC program and Wash dot I four five GC program. Uh, Wash dot stands for Washington State Department of Transportation, and GC stands for General Engineering Consultant. So the Wash, the first project replaces a sixty year old pavement that will ultimately improve traffic. Not only that, it improves the environmental state for the sea life, and that's very important because you can't move the industry forward without being mindful of the state of the earth and the environment. The second project, WASHDOT I-405 GEC program, is a multimodal project that expands the I-405 freeway. This benefits all forms of transportation, cars, buses, and it links multiple transits, so it helps people get from further locations. Next slide, please. As a business and accounting intern, I have multiple jobs. Well, as a, I do office support, including data analysis and report production. What I've done for some of that is listening in on meetings and adding my input on how we could, for example, lower the budget for a project. The next thing I've done is assist with the project finance activities. And that means I've worked on invoices making sure sub consultants don't make mistakes because we don't want sub consultants overcharging us. The third thing I've done is document coordination and quality assurance. And what that means is I've made sure that contracts between sub consultants and Asian TV are expired. And if they are, if they are expired, I've emailed those sub consultants and made sure that they got it updated because we don't want to be working on a project when we're not in a contract and bind to things. Next slide, please. So I've created a vlog just to show you a uh, day in the life of an intern of a Compto, an HNTV intern. I hope y'all enjoy. Once I get to the station, I take the train from Eagle Lake to Pioneer Square. The commute ranges from one hour to one hour 30 minutes. To pass the time, I usually listen to a podcast, listen to music, or read a book.
Once I get to Pioneer Station, I take the 550 bus to the Bellevue Transit Center. Once I arrive at the Bellevue Transit, I literally only had to walk 30 seconds and on that ancient TV. So I just got into the office. This is my cubicle. This is the office. And usually to start out the day, I check my emails. The beauty about the location of the office is that it's right next to a bus transit center. A reminder every day of why our work is so important and why our current society literally cannot function without the transportation industry. Another cool thing about the location of HGTV, the surrounding area is just an industrial powerhouse with so many buildings. Amazon, Microsoft, for example, that makes this whole city pop and really come to life. So I'll be meeting with the project manager around 12 o'clock. I'm just going to be working on some condo work. Right now I'm editing the very video that y'all are watching. So the project manager had to cancel the meeting at 12 o'clock and move it to 2 o'clock. So I'll be meeting with them later today. Right now it's about 12.30 and I'm just going to be working on some comfortable work stuff. So real quick, I just wanted to interview Kevin Collins and get his perspective on Agent TV and the transportation industry as a whole. How is Agent TV as a whole moving the transportation industry forward? Uh, it's incredibly exciting. Agent TV has really evolved from one of, you know, just the hard sciences around design and engineering to actually being trusted advisor, providing strategic advice to our clients to implement their projects, which are just, which are just getting more and more complex and complicated to implement. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I believe Agent TV is moving the transportation industry forward through opportunities like this, internships like this, that create opportunities for diverse individuals to break into the transportation industry. As I take the bus every day, I see a lot of people that look like me. And it reminds me how important representation is, especially in the industry that impacts so many people of color. So just coming in and being able to learn about the industry and add my two cents to it, um, I feel like that is huge. And HMTB has done a great job in hiring and promoting that diverse culture to create a better transportation system in America. So I just got out of the meeting with the project manager and it's just about reviewing what we'll do for the rest of the week. So it's 3.09 right now and I'm just getting everything wrapped up. I'll be leaving pretty soon. 3.27 right now. Headed home. Just want to say thank you to Comdo for the opportunity to get this internship. It's been amazing. And I really appreciate everything. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Once again, I'd just like to say thank you to Comdo and HMTV. Uh, this has probably been one of the best summers I've ever had. So um, I really appreciate it again. To wrap things up, uh, we, we would all like to say thank you very much for the opportunity Comto and our wonderful host agency agencies has given to us. We hope that Comto can continue to propel the message of diversity and inclusiveness in the transportation industry as all our members work collectively together. This internship has been all that we could have asked for and we couldn't have done it without the guidance of Mariah, Colleen and Charles. Even during unprecedented times, this program was still able to run and we hope that it can influence the future of transportation for many more generations. Also, thank you everyone to take time and listen in on our presentation. Now, if there are any questions, please feel free to ask. We are more than happy to answer. Hello. Also, if you have any questions, if you could put it in the Q&A box and I will read them for the student um, and whoever would like to answer or it's directed, we can have answer. So one of the questions in the chat was where can we look to find such opportunities? 
So if you go to our website, comsonational.org, there is a link that says Comso National Programs. Um, if you go down into that link, you will see the City Internship Program page where you will see all of your students here highlighted. Um, and there is usually a um, application process. When the application process is open, there will be an application there that you can open up. We also have another great question um, from Diana Mendez. What has surprised you the most about your internship experiences? Don't all answer it. What? Well, for me, it's just that I didn't know so much went into transportation. Um, I didn't know that I could have a future in transportation being a business major, like marketing major, but there's so much more than just construction and engineering that goes into transportation. So I've learned a lot. I thought it was really cool hearing about how much work got done during the pandemic. I feel like so many, for so many companies, so many industries, it kind of stopped and just hearing about the work, especially like that h and was doing to kind of take advantage of a situation where there's not as many people out and about and really bring change to the transportation. That was very exciting and interesting to find. We have another question from Ms. Ivory Lloyd. What has been the highlight of your internship experience thus far? I would say my highlight is honestly my colleagues and my manager, the way how just the company had took me in and treated me as an intern and just like just a first starter employee. It was just very welcoming and knowing all, get, get them giving me the information that I need, you know, to do what I got to do for them and for the company. It was, I, I just love the way how they just, they taught, they taught me how to get the work done and they constantly give me motivation to just do better every day. I mean, just, yeah, just to do better, so. Um, as for me, um, ACOM giving me a chance to work with them as one of their own, treated me like as, a, um, not as, as an intern, but as everybody else, and it boosts me to, to, to do the work even more when they interested me with a certain project and, and give me the chance to work on, on everything that they're the, the working with. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, uh, I thank them for that, and that was like the biggest highlight for me. There is another question in the, in the chat. Oh, Colleen, did you want to make mention of something? Yeah, I was going to say there's another question in the chat. Are you all now considering a full time career with the transportation industry after school? And this is from Melissa Dent. I'm currently strongly thinking about it and the difference part, especially when I with the residential program that they have with me, which is pretty great. So um, I hope that uh, the other intern will have a chance to see other department as well moving forward. But the, the program they have made is pretty awesome to see the different category and, and see everything that the, the company does in general and, and make a decision and moving forward in my career. So we also have a question. Oh, go ahead. Uh one of the highlights of my internship experience is that I'm in, I'm in here in person so I can talk to my managers or uh, talk with coworkers so I can get to know them on a personal level and get to know why they want to work for the transportation industry and why they chose accounting specifically. And that really influenced me to try to pursue uh, an education in, in uh, accounting on top of actuarial science. And I'm certainly looking to, towards a position in the transportation industry, um, especially recently, there's been a couple of positions open in the accounting department. So I'm certainly trying to um, grab that position and maybe become a, a, a year round intern here. Perfect. Um, what did you guys find, and this is from Madeline Collier, the most challenging about the internship experience? And what would you like to see change? Uh, 
I think the most challenging was uh, not being able to like work with all the interns together as much. Um, and that's something that that's a, a thing that we can't really do it about because it's the pandemic and everything. So uh, just getting back in person um, eventually and having like the conference in person and being able to actually like communicate in person with our fellow interns. I think that's uh, something that I feel would be better. But of course, we're doing the best we can. And what we did have this year was pretty special anyway, so. And I, I will say, say go ahead. Um, I go will ahead. say as somebody who did have the opportunity to get with the other Comto interns at the conference, yeah, we did kind of miss out this year, but I really think that what we yeah what we had and what we worked with, we I we still got a lot out of it. But I definitely think for the future, it would be nice if we can get this pandemic under control so that more people can have the opportunity to get together at the conference, um, because I think that really does something for the relationships of the interns from around the U.S. when they get together. And there was one, there, there was a man. Yes, I was, they're gonna say, there was one other question from Doug Mann. And what suggestions would you all give to make your experience even better overall? Um, not just, you know, with each other, but also your just overall internship experience with your partner, with Comto and um, with your group here. Anyone? You just did a perfect job for them. So they just really have nothing else to say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, for all of our hosts, I think that they've had an exceptional experience. Um, and I think the last question um, that we're gonna answer for today is what can we see um, next for you all? What's next for you all after this internship experience? I would say what's next for me is I plan to hopefully I, the time being, I hope I can get a full-time position for Shushra. I actually love working for the company and I love being in the IT department. Um, even though I'm a cybersecurity uh, major and I um, got my degree in cybersecurity, I just feel like there's this a different I aspect with IT and I like, I love learning new things. And I feel like with Citra, they're teaching me more things that I didn't even know when I was in school with IT. So, yeah. Well, for my future, I plan to continue my education in both entrepreneurship and marketing. Um, if I do receive an opportunity to work within the transportation industry, I would love that. Um, but I see bright things for my future with whatever direction I choose to go. Um, so I'm just excited to continue to learn, really just learn and continue to make connections and networking. For me, um, I as I'm finishing up my MS in marketing with the focus in supply chain I, program at Loyola. Sorry, that's a handful to say, but um, I'm still I'm just excited and continuing to network throughout our Compto community and stay involved when I can. Um, and I'm still um, figuring out my next steps, but I always plan to stay connected to the transportation industry and the people who I've networked with so far. Thank you. Personally? Uh, oh, go ahead, Kumi. I, I, I want to, of course, finish up college uh, and graduate. I'm thinking maybe to uh, get my MBA after uh, because I could probably get that paid for with sports, but we'll see about that. But, but I do know I want to 
stay in love with Kanto and be able to really expand just the network that I have and make it so that I can connect people globally, um, whether it's here or in Japan or somewhere else, I want to be able to just bridge cultures and make sure that uh, companies and businesses are able to grow. For me, I think um, uh, I still have one uh, one more quarter to go in school, uh, but I definitely am thinking about two, two things. I'm thinking about going into grad school as um, soon as I finish with my bachelor. And also I'm thinking, um, uh, I'm, I mean, I really think that I, uh, I'm really interested in the transportation industry and continuing my career in that field. Uh, as I really enjoyed my internship and I enjoyed what I've worked with so far regards the trans transportation industry. So, yeah. Thank you. Steven, did um, you want to finish? Yeah, so I was going to say moving forward, I definitely would like to stay with the company I'm in. I love the environment. I love uh, everything they, they do. And uh, um, definitely uh, I'm, I'm moving forward to get my FE pretty soon uh, in December and uh, I'm getting my PE as well. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, um, personally, I would like to get more involved with Comto, uh, um, maybe doing the same job Colleen and uh, uh, Maria is doing because uh, that was great, I love it. Um, thank you for, for everything. Appreciate the help, appreciate the advice. Uh, um, I like to give it back. So I think I'll, I'll definitely be joining you guys once I'm done in December and, 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 and continue to work. Thank you. All right. All right. right. If I could just quickly say uh, a couple yeah, things. Sure. Thank you. Number one, I, I just wanted to thank all the great hosts because without you, none of this would be possible. And I would encourage you, even though we're going through unprecedented times to for you stepping up and making these internships possible. Secondly, I'd like to thank these interns from the date we started now. I've seen tremendous growth. I see a group of great young people who powered through some challenging times and gave a great presentation today. And last but not least, I wanna thank uh, number one, Mariah, who has been the, the, the point person with this pro project and this program, and Colleen, who's the chair of our great committee. committee. And I would encourage any of you CompTO members out there or even some of our other members uh, in the industry, join in and the reason one of the reasons we're here is because we want to push forward uh, our experiences as, as former co-ops and as former interns to these young people and help empower and bring about the next generation of transportation leaders thank you you took the words right out of my mouth charles so i have nothing else to say but thank you all for supporting this presentation supporting compto and our interns and we look forward to working with all of you in the future through either hosting an intern or being part of the committee to assist in the development of our interns and continue interns to support Compto because we will always be there for you. Thank you. And we are coming on the hour. So we thank you all for taking time out to listen to our students presentations today. We truly, we truly thank you. Um, they did an amazing job. And I thank you all for making me look so great because it's definitely you guys um, who make us look great. Um, I wanna thank my committee chair, Colleen Brimby, and my committee, Mr. Charles Cave, as well as our new board member, Ms. Melissa Rose Scott, who is not able to be with us today, but she is a vital member of our committee. And I did want to make sure that we give her thanks um, during this presentation. Um, we work together diligently to put together a um, robust summer for our students. And we are also seeking new committee members. So if you all are interested in joining the city internship committee to provide a robust, robust summer for the next generation of leaders, we do ask that you contact us and let us know that you would like to participate. Um, and again, we thank you and you all have a great and wonderful rest of your day.
Are we staying on? We will be closing out shortly.